Hi everyone, Mrs. O'Brien here. Thanks for joining me today for storytelling. Today we are going to be reading another one of my Pig the Pug favorites called Pig the Elf. I know it's not the holidays right now, but I thought, you know what, the holidays usually put us all in a good mood, so why not? It's Friday. Let's read about the holiday. So here we go. Pig the Elf by Erin Blaby. Dear Santa, may I please have something nice for Christmas? From Trevor. P.S. I love you so much. Raise your hand if any of you guys have ever written letters to Santa. I know I have a long, long time ago. Oh, Christmas Eve, the most merry of nights, the carols, the snowflakes, the small twinkly lights. Santa was coming, twas bigger than big, but no one was feeling more festive than Pig! How he loved Christmas, he giggled with glee. The presents, the presents for me, 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 me. He'd written his list and he asked for a lot. But Santa takes orders, so why the heck not? This is what Pig has on his list. I want a motorcycle, a rocket, a drum set, a pony, a skateboard, a cotton candy maker. That's a long list, don't you think? The presents, the presents, he screamed out again. When will he get here? Oh, when? Tell me when. He'll come when we sleep, said his lovely friend Trevor. But Pig shouted, sleep? I'll have none whatsoever. Sleep is for fools. Oh, yes. Sleep is for losers. I won't go to bed with the rest of you snoozers. I'm sitting up late. I'll be here when he comes. I declare by these stockings and gingerbread crumbs. So Trevor went dutifully off to his bed, but naughty old pig stayed up just like he said. The waiting was endless, but pig held his ground. Then at 33, three, at 333, well, he heard a strange sound. And guess who had made the mysterious noise? A portly old gent with a bag full of toys. He piled up some presents, marked Trevor and Pig. Then he picked up his milk and he took a big swig. But then, as he turned to go back his way, a short cranky dog appeared shouting out, Hey! I asked for more, hollered Pig in dismay. But Santa turned around. Then he hurried away. Hey, shouted Pig, sounding very unkind. Then he nipped poor old Santa's big rosy behind. Up through the chimney, up to the sleigh, pig held on tight, you're not getting away. Don't be a cheapskate, I want all my stuff. The pile that you left me is just not enough. But the sleigh took off fast. Gee, those reindeer were speedy and away fell their guest. Yes, the elf who was greedy. But as Trevor lay dreaming of holiday cheer, a real Christmas miracle happened right here. Yes, pig must be blessed. He survived that big drop and was saved by a tree with an angel on top. Wow, imagine that. Pug got, Pig the Pug got very lucky. Well, boys and girls, thanks so much for joining me this week for story time. I hope that you enjoy your weekend and think about something you're grateful for. And I know that's something I'm grateful for right now is that I have my health and I have a little bit of extra time with my family. So with that, have a good day and have a great weekend and I'll see you back again on Monday. Miss you, bye.